Hey guys, welcome back to the Oklahizer Disc Golf Channel. Today we are doing a three disc review focused mainly around the Scorch. We're going to take a look at some discs that fly very similar, a little bit faster and a little bit slower with the Mantis and the Crank. We're going to give these a couple of throws and see how they compare. Welcome to Oklahizer! Okay, first I wanted to take a closer look at the discs themselves before we went on to the throws. Like I had mentioned in the intro, this is one of my normal three disc reviews. Though of course we are focused mainly around the Scorch. As you can see the flight numbers up on the screen, they all have varying speeds and slightly different glide, but they do all have a negative two turn with that positive two fade. And as you'll see shortly, if you like either the Crank or the Mantis, you'll find that the Scorch fits cleanly between the two. I also wanted to take a moment to give a big thanks to DMART Pro Shop for sponsoring this video. The amount of time and effort that they've all put into the local disc golf community is staggering. So if you find yourself cruising down I-40 through Oklahoma, they now have two brick and mortar locations, one just north of I-40 in War Acres, and a brand new second location a bit south of I-40 in Norman, Oklahoma. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so you can find out how you can win an awesome DMART prize pack. Well, there you have it. As far as the Scorch goes, we are throwing these two Scorches here. The first run in the test flight, I'd say that the test flight is absolutely more stable. It's got more fade and less turn than the first run. Uh, ton of glide, ton of speed. You agree on that? 
Yeah, I definitely feel like the score, the first run was flippier, probably a little less glide. Definitely finished a little harder. I think this one was a little more middle of the road, very glidey, super easy to get on a soft turnover. And of course the ESP plastic feels great in your hand. As far as the Mantis goes, I'd say uh, where this disc really shines for me is short tunnel shots, backhand or upshots, forehand. This thing will just carry that upshot you know, very far left before it does have that consistent fade. It is extremely similar flight characteristics to the Scorch, just a lot slower and less glide in my opinion. I feel like the Mantis is a good go-to if you want an aggressive turnover, a uh, real hard force turnover, or a nice straight to flippy shot. If you want to flip a disc up through a tight tunnel, I feel like this is definitely your best bet. The slower speed makes it a little more manageable in those tight spaces. All right, and then lastly, the crank. I'd say it's also the closest we have to a faster scorch. I feel like the Hades would be a little too flippy and the nuke would be a little bit too overstable, but the crank definitely has that turn, but I'd say it is a little bit more overstable even with that extra speed. But where this disc shines for me is just maximum distance, especially with forehand. I can get this thing so far as my furthest flying forehand disc by far. So I've got a noodle arm. So the crank has been my go-to distance driver for a long time. It can be a little touchy, uh, especially when you start to beat in. Uh, the old ESP was real, real flippy. But the newer ESP, once you start beating it in, it becomes pretty flippy. But once you get a lot of practice with the hyzer flips, these things bomb and you can, you can always count on a fade as long as you don't have a strong headwind. No matter how far right you turn it, it will always finish to the left, even if it's just a short dump. Forehand, uh, it'll teach you to control it and you can throw just laser straight forehands and count on just a nice soft fade at the end and both backhand and forehand they have fantastic glide there you go if you guys want to get your hands on any of these discs make sure you check out dmart pro shop here in oklahoma city they are going to be launching a website soon but if you find yourself cruising through i-40 just take a quick trip up this oklahoma city's number one disc golf stop thanks guys i hope you enjoyed all right and now with the giveaway information. If you're looking to get your hands on this incredible DMART prize pack featuring a custom Woodburn Mini, a custom mitten bags, and a custom insulated water bottle, just make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of the video. Which of these three is your favorite disc? Make sure you check us out on Instagram as well at DMART Pro Shop and at Oklahizer. And while the website's not quite in full swing just yet, it is still there. So if you want to check that out and get some more information about the shop, just make sure and visit DMARTProShop.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the Oklahizer Disc Golf Channel. Today, we've got another three disc review for you focused mainly around the Scorch. We got a Z and a <laughs> test flight. <laughs> <laughs> They're down there. <laughs> yeah, we got a uh, Z and a test flight. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna do that. That was off script, bro. It was, it was I was improving. You don't throw them down until I finish talking about them. Go, now drop them. <laughs> Okay, all right. All right. <coughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Oklahoma Disc Golf Channel.